You said the Pharaoh's Tutmos III is the father of Isis, but this name was not mentioned in the Bible. However, you said the Bible later on mentioned his name. Can you explain to us? Yeah, in reality, you see the book of Genesis who spoke about the birth of Isaac uh, uh, did not mention, he said Sarah was married to Pharaoh, but he mentioned no name for this Pharaoh. However, later on in the Old Testament, we in fact, this Pharaoh becomes a major character in the history of the Israelites. After the Exodus from uh, Egypt and the book of uh, Joshua and the, the books of the Judges and so on, about five centuries, this is, this is, this is what confused the, the historical issue uh, in the behind the Bible stories. Five centuries later, five centuries after the death of Tutmosis the Third, we have in uh, in Israel, in Palestine, in, in Canaan, uh, a young boy named David, and this David goes to see King uh, King Saul. Uh, eventually, uh, this David uh, succeeds Saul as a mighty king of Israel. Now, if you look at the name the David, which in Hebrew is Dud, Dud, in Hebrew Dud, Dud. and the name Tut Mos, uh. Tut, the first part of the name of Tutmosis the third, although in English uh, we pronounce it the same way as Tut in Tutankhamun, but in hieroglyphic it's a completely different word. In Tutankhamun, the hieroglyphic, the first hieroglyphic indicates the meaning, gives the meaning of the image of, the image. The image of. Yes. Tutankhamun, the image of the living Amun. Uh, however, Tut, uh, uh, the hieroglyphic in Tut uh, of Tutmosis is completely different. It's the ibis bird, which is the, the, the image of, of Toth. Toth or Tut or in fact Tahut mm. or uh, Hermes in fact the, in, 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 uh, who is the day, uh, the god of wisdom and magic you see so uh, Tutmos is the uh, is the mean, meaning of the name is the, the son of, of uh, Tahut the son of Hermes now Tut the, the T Egyptian T becomes a D in Hebrew. The word Tut becomes Dud in Hebrew, which is the very name of King David. So the very name of King David, so is the Tutmos, of Tutmos, of Tutmos is, is, is the name of Tut and Dud, uh, the, same, ah. the same name. This is the same thing. Not only that, mm. later on, all, all major essential points of the life of David we find it uh, in the life mm. of, uh, of Tutmos the third, the same thing. For instance, we know that Amenhotep the third went out after the death of Hatshepsut to recover the borders of Egypt from the, uh, across the Euphrates in northern Syria uh, with the Nile River. Because his grandfather, as uh, uh, Tutmos the first, went there but did not establish the empire. We know, I mean, we have here uh, the book of Samuel uh, and the two books of Samuel and the book of Kings, they mention this account. We have a story which is very strange, I mean, because it doesn't relate to the, to the story in the Bible. That David went to recover, to recover, as if it was there before, his borders beyond the Euphrates and eventually to establish an empire between, I mean, we have the, 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 I mean, the, the book of Samuel, the two books of Samuel and Kings, we have two characters named David, really. David here is, is I mean, uh, I mean the, the, he w they want to make him a Hebrew, uh, and at the same time, they realize he was a king. He was a, a, a mighty king, not only a king. So although in some cases we have 
David with 600 of his followers going here and going there working for, for the sake of the Philistines and Palestinians uh, 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 working for them uh, we suddenly have a, a, a King David who has a, a thousand chariots and a mighty army and he defeated many cities destroyed the cities the city of Armageddon, um, Megiddo, uh, which is uh, all the cities that are, are, are mentioned in the history of Tutmosis III, that he captured them between Egypt and the Euphrates, uh, are mentioned in, in the Bible for David. Now, when we, I mean, but the David uh, of the Bible is supposed to have lived in the 10th century BC, yeah. five centuries after Tutmosis III. Now, when we uh, archaeologists looked for evidence of the sites, the cities destroyed, according to the Bible story, by David, they found no evidence at ever of any of these cities destroyed at the 10th century, at the level of the 10th century BC. However, mm -hmm. they found all these locations mentioned in the Bible for David exist there, destroyed as ba exactly as the Bible says, but o only 15 in the 15th century BC. But in the why time they found it, they found it all over the place. F for, I mean, uh, in all the location. In my book, you'll find all the details of the excavation and, and discovery. Uh, and the book which is coming. Uh, I mean, uh, ah, uh, the, the, new book. the, uh, the Egyptian origin of King David and the Temple of Solomon. Ah. So the same locations, the same uh, um, cities that the Bible says that David destroyed in uh, uh, during the 10th century BC, archaeologists found no evidence for that. However, they did found evidence of all that only uh, five centuries earlier in the time of Tutmosis III. Not only that. So the time in the Bible wasn't right. That's no, what no, no, the, 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 the biblical stories, mm. I mean, took the 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 the, 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 the David of, of the father of Isaac, mm. and put him. They did not uh, forget him. In, on the contrary, mm. they put him only put him in another. Uh, uh, this is the whole. This is the whole confusion. You see, that's why. That's why archaeologists have not been able to find any evidence to confirm any story of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Not because the story is not historically, has no historical roots, but because the Bible uh, places it in a different location at a different time. So whenever you dig, you don't find, you see. But if you, if you once we know that uh, Tutmosis III is the historical David, then you find all the stories, even even the marriage, uh, I mean, as we know, that Moses said married the, the uh, wife of Abraham. Mm. He married a woman that was married to another man. Now, the uh, story of, of David have uh, David. Uh, I mean, uh, was, uh, he was in Jerusalem, and he looked over the, his. his uh, I mean, to the other house next to his palace, and he saw a woman bathing. Bathsheba, her name is Bathsheba, mm. and he, he, he liked her, so he, he called her, he got her, and he knew her husband was one of the soldiers in the army, uh, Uriah, his, uh, his called Uriah in the Bible, and he, he, ma he made sure to get rid of him in order to get uh, uh, Bathsheba, and he made love to her mm. while she is married, o already her husband was alive. And then eventually when his husband died, he, he married her and his descendants, mm. David and so on, I mean Solomon, Solomon. came from Bathsheba. The oh. woman who was, was married to another man, he, he married her, he, he, he slept with her, he, I mean when she already was married to another man. So she even, even the story uh, 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 of Pharaoh marrying a woman mm. who was married to another man is found in the story, biblical story of David, who 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 got uh, 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 another m uh, woman, uh, I mean a woman already married to another man and loved her, uh, made love to her, eventually married her, and from her he got Solomon after mm -hmm. that. So the story, 
Yeah, all what happened is, I mean, all the, uh, all the uh, small details mm. of the life of the empire of, I mean, uh, even, even the account of, I mean, in the Bible, in the Old Testament, you have, they don't know something called the Son of God. The, the Son of God, for the first time, mm. uh, appears in, in, uh, in the New Testament. Uh, yes. regarding Christ, Jesus Christ. Now, we know that, I mean, Hotev III became the son of God. He was adopted by the, the God of Egypt, of course. He was I mean, taken to heaven, journeyed to heaven, and there he was, I mean, uh, 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 confirmed as, as, as a son of, uh, of uh, 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 the, uh, Ra, and Ra took his own diadem from his head and ah. placed it on his son. This is the mean one, uh, the son and of the God. In the, new, in the Old Testament, the only time that we have a king, mm. I mean, who ha he is said to be the son of God, mm. uh, is David. I mean, ah. against all the uh, Jewish and, and Israelite tradition, there is no son of God in, in Jewish tradition or Mosaic tradition, mm. you see. So uh, it, it is uh, it, it is uh, surprising enough, but uh, this is the fact. Mm. The, the King David uh, is uh, is is the same character historically speaking as Thothmose the third, and so the great uh, uh, ancestor of the Israelites is not Abraham, mm. but David, the king of Egypt, the Pharaoh of Egypt, and that's why also that. Uh, Although in the uh, in the five in the Torah, the first five books of the Old Testament, we have uh, Abraham as the great ancestors of the Israelites. Once we come to the history books, Abraham is completely forgotten, mm -hmm. and and from then onward, David becomes the great ancestor ancestor of the Israelite, from whom the Redeemer. Uh, origin I mean eventually uh, mm -hmm. will come uh, yeah, I mean it's said that Jesus was descendant uh, of David the family of David so this is the whole confusion you see what I'm saying is that the biblical narrators sitting in Babylonia mm -hmm. and writing the history they found different accounts different stories so story story of David so, and they uh, placed it in a, in a different uh, 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 chronological order, you see, according to their. O uh, sometimes they must have uh, confused the issue, but sometimes it must have been deliberately just to hide the fact that the father of the Israelites was Pharaoh uh, and not the Hebrew Abraham. Ah, so this is uh, is in your book, in your new book. This is in my new book, yes. Okay. Here, um, uh, so uh, in the next part, we will be. Do you think we will be talking about King Solomon? Or yeah, we will carry on talking about Solomon. I mean, if David was that Moses the third was David, who then was Solomon? Solomon, yes. So here, I would like to remind people: uh, Ahmed Osman has seven books published: Moses and Akhenaten, Christianity and Ancient Egyptian Religion. The Hebrew Pharaohs of Egypt, the Lost City of Exodus, Jesus and the House of Pharaohs, the Soul of Ancient Egypt, Breaking the Mirror of Heaven, and his new book, The Egyptian Origin of King David and the Temple of Solomon, is now pre-selling on Amazon. Thank you very much. Thank you.